हे एवरी वन आई एम आलोस दीक्षित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग कनेक्टेड आलोस इंग्लिश प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर माई चैनल सो आई विल बी मोटिवेटेड फॉर क्रिएटिंग टेक्निकल वीडियोज लाइक दिस सो टूडे वी आर कंटिन्यूंग अवर फुल स्टेप ऑफ डेवलपमेंट सीरीज एंड टूडे इज अवर सी एस टूडे इज अवर ट्यूटोरियल एटीन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू कवर यूनिट्स एंड सी एस एस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट बिकॉज दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so you have to watch this video very carefully because this is the main part of your css suppose i put here a div called div 1 and put it as table and i select my div firstly for a bit ignore this all code this thing that i am selecting so the matter for a time forgot the selector and just focus on its inner html and let's save this and this is our web page but we have selected it so we will change its background color to aqua and this is that and we do this in every video so that's why i am not explaining background color and we have a property call color this changes the color of your text suppose we pass here white see this go here and boom guys we have that thing and we have something called width width means Suppose we pass its width to hundred pixels and height to hundred pixels, and this is looking like this. Uh, not this thing that I want. and we have so now let's focus on our main topic and we are discussing about units in css so in css you can pass comments like this and suppose we pass here mm, i will i have to prepare you a note so i am writing this we have to types of units in css relative and absolute units absolute units are fixed where as relative units can be changed by string width and height and this is that thing and let's agree let me explain you all of this we have something called relative units and absolute in unit in relative unit we have fixed values suppose this we have pass here 100 pixels then it is fixed if the screen size will be changed then it will not change see suppose i put here which has 100 pixels and go here see if we change its width it doesn't i'm changing but if i put here 100 em and see this go here and see but we want it to be one you know so let's see if this go here and when we will change this 
like that thing it will automatically increase see it's increasing so that's why i prefer relative units instead of absolute unit in absolute unit we have pixel it means px and pt it means point and we have a thing uh, we have not an, any other thing so we so after we do this, this thing we have in our relative we have rem em vh vw and here suppose let me explain you about firstly absolute suppose we pass here 100 pixels then it is 100 pixels and if we pass here 100 pt see if this go here then it is 100 pt and if we pass here 100 rem rem means root element which is html the width of html will be this its width see if its width increase the screen width will increase then it will automatically increase and if we pass here em it means the body element if the body element will increase, then it will increase. And we have a thing called VHVW. VH means viewport. Suppose this is our screen and we want its 95% power. So we will put only this much. And we have a thing in it called percentage. And we have VW for width and if you are assigning height then you have to pass VH so it's working see when I will give it big size it will automatically be being big uh, so that's it guys this is in the video I hope you like this video and you uh, this concept is clear in your mind so that's it guys, this is another video. I hope you like this video. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video.